Darren Phillips here from Carolina Self-Defense in Cary, North Carolina. The best place in the triangle to get self-defense training for you and your family. Hey, want to give a big shout out to our friends in the Johnson County Association of Realtors. Uh, they, along with realtors around the nation, have recognized that September is National Realtor Safety Month. Listen, being a realtor is a, is a challenging job when it comes to the area of self-defense. You're always out there meeting new people and a lot of times you're by yourself. So I want to look today very briefly at a question of what if. What if, despite all your best efforts, you're still in a situation that uh, you feel uncomfortable? Yes, I said the word uncomfortable. The moment that you are uncomfortable is the moment that you start your self-defense. In self-defense, we talk a lot about the concept of space. I need to create space between me and bad things whether they are actually happening or whether they have the potential to happen. We're gonna show a video here in just a minute about a realtor who during an open house was attacked. Bad situation, she's okay, but she was shaken up at the time and literally even questioning if she ever wanted to be a realtor again. However, when I watch this video, it fulfills almost every one of the major points that we try to bring out when we teach a foundation of self-defense. Uh, one of the most important concepts there is the idea of space and the concept of intuition, listening to your gut. Uh, we often will say, how many people have had that situation where someone has gotten into your space and you begin to feel uncomfortable? Now, the crazy thing here and the rough thing is that they haven't done anything wrong yet but yet your spider sense is going off. Your feeling of uncomfortableness is high. That is the moment that you need to act, not when something bad happens, okay? A terrifying attack caught on camera. Security camera video shows a man viciously attacking a real estate agent. It all happened during an open house in Encino. We're told that woman said that she had a bad feeling about the guy from the very beginning. Every realtor's worst nightmare, and she did have a bad feeling. She said she'd met this guy one time before, and she knew he could be dangerous. She got a funny feeling before the attack and moved their conversation to the porch, hoping he would leave, but he kept asking questions. Can I show you the closet? So he said, can I have water? Can I use the bathroom? Okay. Okay, thank you. Get on, okay? Huh? Remember you said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you still going to be a realtor? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a tough question, you know. This wasn't the first time she's seen this man, and her gut told her something was strange. I was so lucky. I had a feeling from day one mm -hmm. that this, this person can hurt me. She had a bad feeling. She thought this guy was gonna hurt her. She, she was very, very uncomfortable. All of these things, yet she continued to keep herself in that situation and eventually it did turn out badly in that she was attacked. The very moment that I begin to feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna create a fence. Here's the technique of a fence. A fence is anytime I have a potential threat, I'm going to create space. I'm going to create, I'm going to get my hands up and get at least two to three arm's lengths away from the attacker. It being really close, I'm not in a position to be able to protect myself at all. Explosive movement from this close is practically uh, undefensible from my perspective. I mean, I have to really, really be good. So what I want to do is I want to create this kind of space here. I'm going to create space. For how much space? At least two arms lengths. I, I, now I may have this kind of de-escalation, hey, what's kind of going on kind of look, but my arms are extended. This is very efficient if I need to defend, if I need to get my hands up. So I'm not gonna have them down. I'm not gonna have them uh, close in. I'm gonna have them extended out, okay? I've created two, two at least at a minimum, arms lengths away and 
I'm going to actually keep this person in their place. If they get any closer, I'm just going to say, hey, back off. All right? I'm not comfortable. Uh, hey, back off. I'm serious. However high of an intensity I need to do it, that's what I'm going to say. I'm not comfortable with this. All right. Now, we just said a minute ago that uh, I may not have any information about this person in this kind of situation. I don't necessarily know if they're a bad person. I don't know if they have bad intentions. I don't know if they're trying to, you know, trying to do this or what. But when I say back off, I'm going to have an important piece of information. What is that? It's the fact that if this person has one ounce of humanity in them, what are they going to do when I say, hey, back off? They're going to back off. Now, they may think I am totally rude, totally discourteous, and I'm a real jerk, uh, but whatever, they're still not going to invade my space anymore, okay? So, what's the piece of information that I'm going to get? If this person makes one movement towards me, bah, 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 what got announced to the whole world? This person has bad intentions, and that's when things are going to get really serious. Back off! Okay? Now, most of us have not done anything like that in a long, long time, if ever. So this is what you need to do. You need to work this in your mirror. Yep, that's right. Make sure nobody's around, and you look in that mirror, you get your arms extended, you say, back off! <laughs> And the Academy Award goes to Darren Phillips. Yay! <laughs> Listen, I know it's tough. You got to work on the drama. You got to get that mean face. Okay? Now, one thing you'll see in that video is that when she did get attacked, she didn't attack back at all. This is a concept that we call the on switch. So once this person breaks that barrier again and, and, and is showing bad intentions, I'm going to attack. I'm not going to be, you know, and just be a victim and have this person control me. I, they are giving me a fight, flight, or freeze moment. Click the switch, the on switch. I'm going to give that back to them. Okay. Now, the great thing is from this position, you have so many options. First of all, if they're looking to control, I'm able to create, uh, I'm able to create what we refer to as an arm stop. I'm able to have my arms, which are already extended, and get into their mass and stop them from closing the distance and being able to control. Now, as I do that, you better believe that this hand is going to be going into the eyes, into the throat, into the solar plexus. I have my knee. As I get in this position, I can also throw strikes with my knee. I can use, my, use the rest of my foot to rise up between the legs, kick them in the groin. I can take my head and jam it right into their head. All of this is available to me. But more than anything else, I've got this attitude. How dare you attack me? Uh -uh. I'm clicking the switch. Now I'm the predator. Ruth! I'm going to hurt you, okay? All right, now what is the purpose of all that? Again, going back to the original, to create space. I need to cause damage so that I can create space. But more than anything else, I need to get this person, get this person, I need their mindset to, ch mindset to change that this is not the low-hanging fruit that I thought. This was not easy like I thought it was going to be. This is what predators want. They want the one that's uh, away from the herd, right? They want the, one, the weak, the, the lowly, the, the isolated. That's what they want because it's easy, okay? The first thing I'm going to give this person is you chose the wrong person to mess with today. I'm going to make your life miserable like you're trying to make mine, okay? All right, this is a concept that we call the on switch, that I'm going to go into beast mode. The moment that I am attacked, I'm turning into the predator, okay? 
I'm going to continue to create space. I want to maintain space. If I can't maintain it, then I'm going to cause some damage so that I can make space and get the heck out of there. Okay. Anyway, uh, listen, I would love for all of you to do some of the training that we provide here at Carolina Self-Defense. So check it, check us out and uh, we'll leave a link uh, below so that you guys can join us. We'd love to see you. Hello again to all of our friends down at the Johnson County uh, Association of Realtors. Wanted to take a second and invite you up to Cary on September 19th. We're going to have a women's self-defense seminar. Now this is an opportunity for women to uh, practice and get a little more acquainted with a lot of the techniques that we just uh, shared as well as much, much, much more. Uh, it goes from 2 o'clock until 4.30. Now, the best practice for this is for you to bring your own partner uh, with our current, you know, the current COVID situation. So, uh, we'd really like to, for you to grab a friend and sign up. Again, that's September 19th. That's a Saturday. It's going to go from 2 to 4.30. It is a lot of fun. Please check out all the reviews that we have online for it, and uh, you're going you're gonna to love it. So, we certainly hope to see you guys there. And uh, take care. Have a great weekend.